it's like right now, you know, like most people, they haven't met my 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 partner that I started in the drug business with. We started with one hundred twenty five dollars a piece in the drug business, mm -hmm. and even though we don't kick it no more, we don't talk on the phone. But if I call him and say, "Hey, I need you right now," he, he coming. coming. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gonna talk. Yeah, and it's, it, how and how difficult is it compared to corporate America now that you've switched everything over and you know how to do, you're dealing with both now. So how how much of a difference is it? How do you compare the two? Well, well, uh, legit business is, is is tough. You know, it's not as as, as smooth as is you know in in the, in the drug business you you, you go in you you. Um, you have your money, you buy your product, and you sell it. We're in legit business, though. You know, you got a lot of other red tape that you got to go through. Uh, you got to find vendors that are actually sell you the product. Yeah. You know, drug dealers, they're going to sell whoever got the money. You got the money, we're going to sell you product. So it, it's it's a little different, but once you, and, and I haven't cracked it, cracked in yet, but I believe once you crack in, then it'll just, it'll just, it'll just flow, you know, constantly flow. Um and I believe that it is it it'll flow even bigger than what it did in the drug business. Yeah, you know, because yeah. in the drug business, you know, you gotta you gotta hide and and duck Man. and yeah. Uh, with, with this here, you know, you can advertise. You know, you can go on a a show like a Joe Rogan or Yo Show and 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 tell you know millions of people what you do. Yeah, and not yeah. only that, yeah. how do you keep the people around you who are working for you motivated to um to keep pushing? Because when you're in the drug business. The people around you work and see money coming quicker compared to people they who do. are around yeah. you in the legal business and you, you, you selling them a dream or telling them, you know, where they can get to. But it's taking so long to get to where, you know, how do you keep them motivated? Well, you, you got you got you got to be a psychologist, you know, it's almost like pimping. You know, how do the pimp keep his hoe on the, on the block? You know? uh, <laughs> he ain't lying. I mean, it's almost, it's almost the same, the same philosophy, but you go through a lot of people, you know, I, I That's mean, since, part I hate. since I've been home from prison, I probably have had 200 people working for me. Mm -hmm. Turn over. At one time or another, you know, and what I try to do is I try to make them as big as I can help them get, you know, so not only do do I benefit from your being around me, but you also benefit from being around me as well. How many people started with you when you since you've been home still with you now? Mm, it's a few. It's a few. I mean, we all still friends, you know. Right, I, right. But I, I'm I usually I, I fall out with very, very few people that I actually fall out with. You have to really do something uh um detrimental to me to to really make me fall out with you, you know, like maybe steal from me or something like that. Right. Take my money or something. Uh, I usually don't fall out with people. You know, we may drift apart, but if I call you, I mean, just like right now, you know, like most people, they haven't met my my my, my partner that I started in the drug business with. We started with $125 a piece in the drug business. Mm -hmm. And even though we don't kick it no more, we don't talk on the phone, but if I call him and say, hey, I need you right now, he, he coming. coming, yeah. Uh, and I believe that. And it may not be true no more, you know. <laughs> but I, I believe that if I called because him. Because you would be there for him. Yeah, yeah. Well, the thing is, like, like, and, and that's something I've been, and I told you, I always be thinking about different stuff. Back in the days in Oakland, it was Felix Mitchell. Right, and he had the rose. He had the. I was just had, with Lil D the other day. We did thug, thug uh, therapy. <laughs> okay, so so for this guy, he gave all his guys Rolls Royces. He had a formulated group that he dealt with. Right, they did something like the Last Supper, or whatever. You know what I mean? They called it that, and he he took care of his guys, gave them apartments, all kind of stuff. Like, what is the? I mean, back during those times, he done that. Those people that you still connected to, and the way your movement was, were there entrepreneurship movements to where people were able to prosper? And you know, when you walked away from everything, or when you didn't walk away, when you was pulled away from everything, did well, anybody stand? Well, most of the people they don't really they don't really study the game. Okay, you know, like I I look at people and and I wonder why they don't study the game. Most people just do enough to get by. You know, they don't want to be, they don't want to be great. Uh, you know, it's a different when you want to be great. Me, uh, mine, I stopped 
I stopped chasing the money after, you know, we had more food than we could eat and we didn't have no more roaches in the house. You know, I, yeah, got, yeah. I got the tent put on mom's house so she didn't <laughs> have no more roaches and rats yeah, and, yeah. and stuff. So after that, people were relaxed. You know, but, you know, I'm an obsessive person. You know, I'll just explain that to mm -hmm. you with yeah, the acai. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I couldn't quit. You know, I wanted more. You, know? you were addicted to <laughs> the game. I was addicted to yeah, the game, yeah. you know. And, I, I, and I'm very easy to become. A, a, I'm an addictive personality. personality, you know. But I'm also at the same time able to say, you know what? Oh, she ain't good for me. I'm going to cut her off. You even though, even though I love her. Yeah. You know, I love you, but... But after multiple mess ups, yeah, 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 and 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 mess ups that you shouldn't be you shouldn't be messing up, you know. Like, look, I don't walk you through this. I did everything I can to get this through to you, and and you ain't getting it. Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk.